Uh, in spirituality, once we decondition ourselves and we find ourselves more and more in touch with the divine, the holiness of our true consciousness, um, the further afield we get and away from the world that seems to be, uh, you'll have very little attraction to go out, to play, to whatever it's going to be. You're going to have a need to get home and sit quietly. Can you imagine that? And it can be under any circumstances. I was just reminded of an experience I had in Vietnam as a young Marine where we were being, mortar shells were coming in at us and in the middle there was a village, they were, they were the good villages, the good guys. <laughs> and, um, there was a monk sitting, and we, I didn't have the term or the thought for it, you see it and feel it and know what it is because you're under great stress and uh, there was a monk sitting in the open field as the rounds were coming in at us. They were walking them in. I could see from his back the robes were not moving. He was just sitting there quiet and you could sense the peace. And I've had many friends since then that, since then were, that were in that place of awareness. So meditation isn't just being nice and kind and being sweet to people. It's, it's, uh, there's something beyond it all, beyond the physical environment, the material world that we live in. It's a place of transcendence, openness, purity, and so much more than that, it's a place of the divine. There's a holiness that surrounds us and fills us all the time. It's always there, it's never not been there. It's simply the conditioning process we've had from birth to this point. And the older you get, the faster time seems to go because you have more of these little, whatever you want to call them, inside yourself moments that create your memories. You uncreate your memories by when they have an edge to them. When you've learned, when you move forward, that's great. You know how to deal with things. But the edge, the hard and fastness of all your thoughts, your memories are deleted. They're, they're gone through just acknowledging what they were in this meditative process. Got it, got it. You acknowledge that you thought or felt this and don't react to it. And after a while, you can be like me, I can be under very severe circumstances where people are expressing horrible things and not react to it. Just be there quietly, simply. It's a wonderful place to be. And the real you has been in that place throughout your life. It's just the cerebral cortex, which is the devil, which creates this world. It's just a, 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 probably a fairly good uh, awareness of it, but as soon as you don't react to that, to what seems to be, um, it will fall from you. There are many different ways to do this. It's good to write down a uh, mission statement. Uh, on a piece of paper with a pencil would be good. I mean, just get out of the different places in your thought that are conditioned and however you want to do it and it'll change every month or two in the beginning or daily. And then every few months you'll add something to it. But the less conditioning you have, the more that a clear field opens up around you in consciousness and it's soft and it's easy and it's warm and it's vibrant and it's wonderful and it's truly ecstatic in a very beauteous, quiet way. I have many friends that live there and you can't discuss it in the open marketplace, it's just there. Most people are truly lost. Some try to live with a kind heart and many are permanent victims of this apparatus of memories, dreams, reflections. They're, they're all gone from you when you quiet yourself. 